The tunnels under New York City are a feat of engineering and construction, carrying over 5 million riders every single day. But how exactly were they built? In the first 30 years of the 20th century, New York built its subway tunnels using a technique called cut and cover. To build a tunnel, workers would dig a huge trench along the street, build a tunnel inside it, and then cover it up again. This was cheaper and simpler than other methods, but it caused major disruption above ground. Whole streets were torn up for months or even years at a time. For deeper lines, like the one under the East River, engineers used giant circular shields. These metal cylinders had workers inside who would push them forward through the ground. A technique borrowed from London's subway building. Behind them, other workers installed cast iron rings to form the tunnel walls. But there were problems. Manhattan sits on hard granite bedrock, while other areas, like Brooklyn and Queens, have a much softer clay, sand, and waterlogged soils. Tunneling through both required different methods and constant adjustment. And then there was the water. Digging under rivers meant constant battles with leaks. Compressed air chambers were often used to keep water out while workers dug, but this exposed them to the bends, a dangerous condition called decompression sickness. That's when the water around you has more pressure than the air in your blood vessels. It can cause an almost immediate collapse or, you know, long-term health issues. So, not great. Despite these challenges, or maybe because of them, work on the tunnels continued. The workforce was mostly made up of immigrants who lived in crowded tenements with few safety regulations. Work was extremely dangerous. Collapses, flooding, and accidents with dynamite claimed many lives. But somehow, they kept digging. Over the decades, new technologies and construction methods were developed to make tunneling safer and more efficient. Today, for big projects like the 2nd Avenue subway, which opened in 2017, they use giant robotic machines called Tunnel Boring Machines or TB. Each one is hundreds of feet long and drills through rock while simultaneously installing concrete tunnel segments behind it. These machines work with such precision that they can drill under a highway or a river without the need for support beams. A technique that was unthinkable just a century ago. But while TBM is digged deep underground with minimal impact on the surface, building a station often still requires massive excavation. In the nearly 150 years since the first subway tunnels were dug, the transit system has grown to over 665 miles of track, all beneath the streets of New York City. And the techniques pioneered here influenced subway construction around the world. Now you know. Hit the like button for more.